You are watching Our Vancouver. I'm Gloria Makarenko. Now, Meinam, that's the Thai word for river, and it literally translates to mother water. So what better way to celebrate Mother's Day than dining on a special dish at Meinam Thai restaurant? Well, Angus Ann is the executive chef and the owner of Meinam, and it's so great to have you with us today. Well, it's good to be here, Gloria. Thank you. Well, and we're highlighting Mother's Day treats and that type of thing. What, what, what goes through your mind as you're preparing for something like that? Well, you know, I think about my mother, my wife. I think, you know, we want to treat our mothers well. It's a very special day. Um, I brought here a few special dishes. One in particular I created during uh, 2020, the lockdown Mother's Day. So I actually made it in my house for my mom and my wife. It's a very special crab dish that you got to pre-order. Uh, I'm calling it the ginger scallion truffle crab. Okay, let, let's get in on this ginger scallion truffle crab. But it almost, it's it's Absolutely gorgeous. Very aromatic, yeah. Again, I am just yeah, aromatic, exactly. So what what am I what am it's I? It's gently steamed here? first and then chilled. And I like crab that's slightly chilled so you can get the full sweetness of the aromas. And then we toss it in a ginger scallion and black truffle sauce. And that gets the beautiful aromas, and you finish off a little bit of fresh uh, celery and uh, scallions. Yeah, but it's also sculpture, Angus. Yeah. I mean, come on, there's some art in, in, the, in the presentation here as well. It's gorgeously presented. That's yeah, part I try of the to, appeal, right? Try to let it let it look like it's still alive a little bit, you know? <laughs> Don't think. Okay, what other treats have you brought for us? Uh, we have a tofu lap salad. Lap is a typical minced meat dish from northern Thailand, but we made a vegetarian version with tofu, which is beautiful. People love it. Okay, uh, and let me, yeah, you, now I know that in. there's some, I just want to have a little taste. So what is in here? So there's a lot of Thai herbs, some minced cilantro, there's uh, lemongrass, mm. and it's some, it's this, what makes it special is the rice powder. So toasted sticky rice powder it gives it that little nuttiness. So it's got a little, Contrast of textures, flavors, a little bit of everything, just like Thai food has. Let's talk a little bit about the um, necessity, I guess, these days, especially to offer vegetarian or vegan options. Well, you know, I think even myself, I, I eat a lot of uh, vegetable or veg-based stuff at home, and I think it's not necessarily just for vegetarians. And it's nice for a Thai restaurant to offer a variety. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have a lot of nice meat dishes and have a vegetarian dish that's sort of a, a nice balance. So I think it's important. I'm getting the fresh basil, I'm mm -hmm. getting the, the herbs, the, this is just, it is so light yeah. and lovely, but then a little bit of a tang on the edge as well. Part beautiful. of our new spring menu, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, what else have you got for we us? We got a beautiful grilled prong curry. It's called a chuchi, which is a dry style curry uh, that you grill and then you serve it on a dry um, curry. Here we have- Wait, wait, just stay yeah. here a little bit long. That you just don't go, so where do you source your seafood from? Because you've got the crab here, you've got these gorgeous prawns, and I know this is West Coast, but what's mm -hmm. your approach? Well, for the crab and any live shellfish, we gotta, you know, we gotta keep it fresh and make sure they're alive. So, you know, the crab is coming from my friends at uh, Fresh Idea Starts Here. Yes. And then this uh, is an Argentinian prawn that's sustainable. Yes. So for us, that's really important to, to preach that sustainability and making sure uh, your seafood is not farmed. If it is farmed, it's farmed with sustainability in mind. So that's really important to us. Nice, okay. And, and what about this dish, this gorgeous? This mm. is a new soup that we put on. It's a really light, uh, hot and sour soup, but with beef. People often think, oh, beef soup must be heavy. No, it's actually a really light. You brace the beef short ribs, uh, and then you finish it off with a lot of Thai aromatics and herbs, and it's super aromatic and light. Oh, I'm getting that. Okay, that's funny, because when you think about, um, you know, red meats and that, mm -hmm. and they can be heavy, oily, even that, but there is a, a yeah. lightness, again, with the, with the herbs and such. How long would you braise this for? Uh, you braise it for, depending on the size of the rib, anywhere from two to four hours until it's tender. Yep. Uh, and then you basically would take the broth that you braise it in, a light kind of uh, chicken base or even water if you want, and infuse it with the aromatics. It's, it's delicious. And what about these little These are treasures? beautiful flour dumplings called chomon. It's uh, made from tapioca and uh, rice flour, and inside is stuffed with caramelized chicken and peanuts and shallots. And then uh, they're, they're made into look like a little rosetta, so it's beautiful. And you've brought in the flowers even to go along with it, so a little bit it's of Mother's a Day. Play. It is yeah. Mother's Day as well. And uh, what about your cookbook? Tell me about this. Oh gosh, we launched, that. we launched that during uh, the pandemic. Uh, it was to celebrate Maynam's 10 years, so Maynam's now 12 years old. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah, thank isn't that funny? Much. What happened to those last two I years, know, right? hey, isn't it crazy? So what would you say, a fresh approach to Thai cooking? What, what's fresh about your approach? I think Maynam's philosophy has always been um, using what's local and fresh to us in terms of Vancouver and, and BC and Canada and try to apply that to a traditional Thai uh, philosophy in terms of flavor, uh, the way we approached the cooking. So it's a combination of, you know, whatever is seasonal, whatever is fresh, and then we try to combine that so the food tastes 
uh, both local, Canadian, and as well as authentic Thai. That's sort of our philosophy. You have beautiful food. Thank you. You really Thank have you. beautiful food. But let's talk about beautiful beverages as mm. well, because you've mixed something that looks quite tasty right here. Yeah. Look at that. This is, uh, this is made by our bartender, Diego. This is called the PP Mule. And we're celebrating cocktail. And, you know, we recently put bar seats back into the restaurant. And I wanted to celebrate that by doing a cocktail hour. So, you yeah. know, before a show, after a show, you can come in for small snacks. And a cocktail. No, no, when you say PP Mule, this is Co PP. This is the I, the right. Thai yes. Island PP. Okay, yes. P I P I yeah, P and everything. Yeah. Well, cheers. cheers to you, yeah. Angus. Thank you very much. Pleasure. And I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you. Mmm.